As part of a unique EU project, researchers all over Europe are now working on developing a technique that will make it possible for several cars to form a convoy in a road train, where the vehicles wirelessly communicate with each other and are manually steered by a professionally trained driver in a lead truck. The aim of all this research is to make traffic of the future safer, at the same time that fuel consumption and environmental effects are considerably reduced. An additional bonus will be an improved traffic flow, as road capacity will increase when cars are driven closer together. As a driver inside the road train, it will be quite possible to read the newspaper, watch TV, make phone calls or even eat breakfast on the way to work at 90 km an hour, without having to hold on to the steering wheel. The car drives itself. We're looking at getting platoons onto the public highways. That's a sort of core mission statement, if you like. We won't necessarily achieve it in this sort of time frame of this project, but that's an aspiration. We're looking at understanding the challenges that um, are relevant and, and appropriate to getting those platoons working on public highways. We want to develop the technologies that have those platoons working together, uh, having vehicles cooperating using vehicle to vehicle communications, um, with a lead vehicle that is a, a professional driver who's been trained to lead the platoon. We believe that platooning can be safer than normal driving uh, today. However, the technology has to be such that it doesn't cause more problems than it solves. So we're trying to understand what can go wrong with the concept of platooning. And that may be things like the platoon is, uh, uh, the first car in the platoon is about to have an accident. What would, it, would be the consequences of the following cars and how can we solve it and address all these issues? There are many practical problems that must be solved before the road train can become a reality. And this is not just a question of new technology. New laws and rules will be required to regulate how road train traffic shall be accomplished and applied in purely practical terms. It is also a question of whether the seven companies that are now collaborating in safe road trains for the environment can find reasonable solutions that function and that can be accepted throughout the whole of Europe. We're in the, as you say, in the initial phases of the project. We are considering everything that could be uh, hazardous, everything that could happen, anything. The aim of the project is to uh, drive very close to the, fault, to, 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 to the vehicle in front to, 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 save, uh, to save on fuel economy. Here at Tecnalia in Bilbao, in the north of Spain, they are already testing the new technology in an advanced road train simulator. Amongst other things, the aim of these tests is to find out how drivers experience being so close to another car travelling at 90 km an hour without actually driving themselves. We are learning how humans, how people react when they are driving such close situation when they are driving very close to the vehicle in front or when how they feel when driving such platoon systems. There are some reactions that are different as we had expected. There are lots of people trusting completely the system and they think they will use it in the future and other people they do not trust at all and they have to be convinced of, that, of the working of the system. And even the researchers here in Bilbao admit that it feels a bit unusual to sit and read the newspaper on the motorway and not have full control of the car themselves. Well, um, I, now I know so feel, I feel quite um, nervous, but uh, for me it's uh, really good because I never have enough time to read the newspaper. But <laughs> you, you feel safe? Yeah, but I prefer to look at a road and <laughs> read the newspaper, but yeah, I feel safe, of course. 